about some of these, you talk about them being a little long in the tooth. Um, how do you feel about some of these Lakers signings? Uh, you know, my, one of my favorite players of all time, Melo. Yeah. Uh, they, they recently picked him up. I wish they would have got him two years ago when he was yeah. kind of just sitting around begging for teams to sign him. Uh, yeah. He could have been on that championship team, but um, yeah. I, I believe, um, yeah. So, yeah, so I just double-checked it here. Uh, the average age of the Lakers players are 32 and eight months, which is the oldest NBA roster in history. Yeah. So, oh, so I love, like, the ru- not loved it, the rest, like, trade. Um, I think that's going to work out a lot better than people think. Um, Melo signing was great. I agree with you. I think he should have been there a couple of years ago. It'd be interesting to kind of see, like, hope they cope with like a when LeBron has this big old like six part documentary. They better talk about why, like, you know, <laughs> Melo didn't get onto that Lakers team when he first, you know, that second year, because um, that would have been a great addition. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, Portland picked up Melo like mid season, two months before, yeah, yeah, two months before the uh, stoppage um, happened, you know, with COVID and everything, and then he was able to, you know, go down to the bubble with him and played very well, played great off the bench last year um, for him. So g- glad about – I'm happy about those two. Uh, I think for me, though, like <clears throat> Ariza, great, you know, great role player, um, 3 and D kind of guy. Um, it, it'll just kind of be interesting to see, like, how – these guys' legs kind of hold up. You know, they don't really have, like, those, you know, young guns to kind of – I think Russ will be good. Just, like, he's just – the dude wakes up and just eats nails for breakfast. Like, I don't have no – I don't think he'll have any issues. Just, yeah, just getting to it 75, 82 games in a season. Um, but it's just kind of tough. For me, my concern is, like, we can't really, like, rely on, like, Anthony Davis to stay healthy for a full season because I thought, you know, my expectation is for him to kind of be a workhorse as well, you know, but it would be interesting to see, you know, these guys start to get banged up, um, you know, see what happens as far as, how, like, how they're able to kind of just keep that core together. This team kind of reminds me – reminds me of, like, two different teams. It kind of reminds me of that uh, that 0304 Lakers team that had Kobe, Shaq, Carl Malone, and Gary Payton. Yeah. It also reminds me of um, the Cavaliers team – in 2017 that had Derrick Rose, um, Wade. Wayne Wade, Jay Crowder, like Isaiah Thomas. Part of me just kind of sees them like – like in that, that's 2017 with the LeBron was on, they just like ended up getting rid of half of them and brought in like younger guys, you know, just had like a different – like, you know, like a little bit better of a core. These guys weren't the greatest players. They didn't really play very well. But like what they had going on, their prior just wasn't working. I I think this will work okay, but I do kind of feel like some of them guys that, you know, took those veteran minimums, you know, they might have to move off of a Trevor Ariza, you know, um, maybe like a Wayne Ellington, you know what I'm saying, just to maybe make those pieces fit a little bit better. Um, but we'll see. I think it'll be uh, – I think they'll – I think this team can win 50 to 52 games, you know. I think they'll get like the two or three seed. Um, maybe even like before, it's kind of depends. Like injuries obviously will be a big factor. And, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I guess to kind of sum it up, some of the moves I like, I didn't love all of them, but when you against the cap like that, like that's kind of like what you kind of expect is going to happen, especially when you're taking on a four or third max contract with getting uh Russ. I mean, he's making more than LeBron and AD right now. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't actually realize he was making that much, you know, that much money. Um, I figured he was on a max for him to put him together. Yeah. He's got 44 oh, I, minutes, probably like 41. Yeah. I think 